Okay, let me first off mention that I was not planning on doing a unboxing video today, but actually, to tell you the truth, I've already opened the box a little bit, and I've actually taken a little quick look at what was inside. Not everything, but parts of it, but it was exciting enough for me that I thought it might be worth getting this on video. Without further ado, I guess I'll go inside and see what is in here. So this is basically an IBM PC 720, a model that was sold in Japan in, back in 1995. So first of all, here is an IBM mouse. Actually, um, the first PC I actually had was a IBM Aptiva and it came with a mouse that looked just like this. And taking a quick look at it, it seems like the rubber is kind of discolored or got, got a little powdery or something. So we'll see what's going on there. That's the first really, yeah, these mouse clicks are just like the mouse that I had with my Aptiva, which happened to be from the same era because I got that Aptiva back in April of 95 or something. And it says the manufacture date for this PC was February something, uh, 1995. So it makes sense that the same mouse has been included in this as well. Okay, so the battery ran out on my, on my camera, so uh, that kind of tells you that I haven't been really prepared to do this um, impromptu unboxing. So next, um, there's a couple of envelopes back here, so I'll go ahead and get those out. First one... Is this manila envelope? What could it be? I actually know what this is because I've opened it earlier. There's a little tear in there, but oh well. Don't worry too much about that. And let's see what is in there. And they are a little bit discolored, but they are IBM uh, PC reference diskettes. So the older um, IBMs, especially back in the, I guess, PS2 days, they contained things called reference diskettes, which you needed to boot from uh, when you had issues or when you had to upgrade hardware or something like that. I don't quite remember, but I, I remember you had to use these when you had kind of uh, when you had some kind of system problem. There's also a diagnostics diskette and a support diskette. I'm probably gonna need these when I um, first get this machine up because I've heard that batteries in this machine is uh, weared out and it's out of charge, and the machine complains about it when it's booting up. So probably one of these diskettes are gonna come in pretty handy when I try to get this machine up and running. All right, next we have another envelope. Okay. Stuck in there, hold on. Now this manila bag apparently contains what I believe to be manuals that the previous owner um, bought as supplementaries. So this one is a IBM 720 micro channel system uh, maintenance manual. So what you can tell from this is that this IBM PC system actually has a micro channel bus, which back in 1995 would have probably been um, toward the end of life or like the very, very last of the um, MCA bus machines that were out there. All right, this is pretty cool. So this is the um, Device driver installation instructions for the ISA bus system. Okay, that's kind of odd because this machine is a microchannel bus system, so this might actually be the manual that the previous owner was mentioning that he got separately. And we also have this little box here as well. In box, paper box, I don't know what we would call this, but it is a OS2 warp uh, Japanese version fix pack installation guide. Okay, what does it say? So this fix pack is for the OS2 warp version 3 Japanese edition, so it does not work on OS2. Uh, J2.11 versions, please read the installation guide before you install, blah blah blah. Okay, so it's not OS3 itself, but uh, some fixes that go with OS2 warp. Okay. All right, let's see what else is in there. So there's like a little bag in here. Okay, that's neat. 
Okay. All right, jump cut. Okay, so I've managed to get those two things out. So one of them you can see is just a power cord, nothing too exciting there. But over here we have a unopened backup CD for this machine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we have a unopened backup CD. This, what does this contain? So this contains the PC720 pre-install image data, which is OS2 Warp, Japanese edition version 3.0, Japanese version of Microsoft Windows version 3.1, um, Windows 3.1C fix program, along with PC DOS, J 6.2V, and its fix files, and the S3 Vision 864 Super VGA Windows device driver, version 1.3.1. I'm gonna guess it's the video chip that's on the motherboard, but it's some uh, device drivers for that, along with. IBM Management Plus, Netfinity Service Program, Quippy for Windows. Was that like a terminal program or some communication software? I, can't, I don't quite remember. Co-session host version. I have no clue what that is. PC card director. Ah, so actually this machine comes with a couple of PCMCIA bus card slots in the back of the machine. I believe that's connected via um, MCA channel if I recall correctly along with the ID2X CD-ROM device drivers. Okay, so this must have a 2X CD-ROM drive, which kind of reminds me that the Aptiva I got back around the same time as this machine was made um, came with a 2X CD-ROM drive as well. So I'm gonna kind of guess it's gonna be very similar inside, interesting. And um, some utility diskettes. Oh, I guess, mm -hmm. diskettes? Oh yeah, it's, so it's a image of the utility diskette. Right, so that is that. And uh, we also have a little baggie, a little paper bag in here. So there's a little paper bag that's still sealed. Not quite sure what it is, but it looks like a couple of floppy disks. Okay, let's take a look at that later. And, uh, okay, pre-installed software information about the Selecta system. So this user guide is a supplement to the user's guide. Uh, something blah blah blah. Before you boot your system, how to use the Selecta system, etc, etc, etc. Ooh, that's very, whatchamacallit. Hmm. Blast from the past. There's some instructions for what to write into the system mini file. Wow, okay, that's lost for that. Alright, and some power cables. Yeah, nothing too exciting about that. There you go. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, interesting. So this is one of those uh, power cables where you plug it into the socket and that side actually has another socket to accept um, the power cable from the display. That's yeah, that's kind of interesting. I think we tend to see those in old equipment, and obviously this is old equipment. And okay, next what we probably can take a look at is this box, which I'm gonna guess contains the keyboard and probably some other pre-install software and such. Okay, let's open it up and see what's inside. Did it? Yeah, okay. A user's guide and a bunch of pre installed software and such. So, oh, cool. So, this is um, some drivers for the PCI? Okay, anyway. Network um, adapter card um, diagnosis dis diskette and the device driver diskette. Okay, pretty cool, still in the bag. This, so this has an ethernet card that supports both um, 10 base 5 and 10 base T, so I might be able to actually connect it to my home network. Interesting. And 
the entry pack for People, which happens to be a, um, what was it? Something like CompuServe, one of those, uh, network thingies that you would dial up into and get access to. I actually remember getting this exact booklet in the first Aptiva system I got back in the day. You know what? Actually, I remember this nifty serve um, booklet as well. So, some, okay, supplemental information. If you need help, call the IBM Courier Hotline. Okay. And some papers that talk about support. Exciting there. Okay. So this is PC DOS um, 6.3 J, which is the version that um, IBM was pre-installing on their IBM PCs back in the day in Japan. Okay. And finally, the user's guide and a quick user's guide for when Microsoft Windows 3.1 Japanese edition. Okay, pretty cool. This just doesn't have a keyboard, so I guess I'll just have to use my own, but um, there's a keyboard cable. So just a little bonus, I guess. Something over here as well. Okay, so that's a power cable probably for the Probably for the module. Nope, it's another, it's just another power cable that looks just like the other one that was included in the box. Interesting. Alright. Okay, that's about it. I guess I'll close up this box and we'll take a look at the actual machine. Now we are down to looking at the actual PC itself. Alright, so the machine is now out of the box. As you can see, it is a personal computer 720-100DX4. So this actually contains a uh, 46, uh, Intel 486DX4 100MHz processor. So this uh, PC actually contains the top of the line Intel uh, 486 CPU. All right, so you know what? How should we take a look at this? Because I cannot carry this around so much. All right, so I moved the computer over to my desk so we can take a closer look at this system. So one of the things about this um, IBM PC720 was that the um, front panel actually had this um, slideable cover on there which revealed the um, drives. So this one actually only has a floppy disk which supports the um, the 1.44 and the 1.2 megabyte floppy standards. So yeah, that's one. And actually you can see this um, blue um, drive eject button which was common for um, the drives these days. I don't know if they were common in the US but um, at least in Japan mostly the um, IBM PCs had these little blue uh, drive eject buttons. Floppy drive eject buttons. All right, so that's kind of the interesting part about the front side. Um, anything else? So the power button's over there, and there's a couple, another button over here. So yeah, I guess I'll try to look up what that green button is right there, what it's actually for. There is a LED indicator for it, so what could it be? Power, hard drive, hmm, power savings? network? Not quite sure what it is. And it's just, it's not something you can push on it. It's just a little indicator console kind of thing. If you look at from the side, you can tell that it is protruding diagonally from the chassis. I guess that's about it for the front side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back side now. So we're taking a look at the back side of the PC720. You can see that this model actually comes with a Ethernet card installed with both a 10 T 
and what I believe to be is a 10 base 5 port. There's a couple of um, PCMCIA card slots which are unoccupied and you can look inside and it's very bare. Uh, you can actually see the um, connector at the end over there. Um, aside from that, of course we have a uh, PS2 keyboard and mouse uh, connectors along with a couple of serial ports and a parallel port along with a display port. And as you can see, the connectors themselves are still shiny. That's amazing. Looks really unused. I guess um, there's a couple of slots here with slot covers and this part's a little bit dusty or corroded or something but it looks really really clean and unused. That's amazing. And of course we have a power supply. Alright, so that pretty much covers the back side as well. Okay, so that's the initial look at the PC-720 which arrived today. So I think I'll be looking at the inside of the PC as well and posting videos of that in the near future. So if you found this uh, video interesting, I'd appreciate it if you can give it, give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, I hope you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time.